Westview Model Shop, and uh, today we're going to uh, grab our uh, Harden and Steenbeck Evolution. We're going to tear this thing down and show you the parts and the components, and we're going to reassemble it and uh, just show you the ease and uh, precision of this brush. So, once again, this is the Evolution uh, Two and One. Uh, comes with the uh, the point two millimeter and the point four millimeter nozzle and um, and needles. Um, right now we've got the uh, the point two installed, so we'll get rid of the point four. We also have the um, the two millimeter cup installed, opposed to the five. Um, the five would more or less lend itself to the larger needle for more paint volume. So anyway, guys, we'll get the we'll get this really nice case from Hard and Steam back out of the way, and uh, let's have a look at our evolution here. Very smooth action, as we discussed in the last video. There's a fair amount of weight here, so you know you're holding good quality product. Um, all around, so far, this airbrush has proved itself really well. So, let's take the time here and tear this thing down, just to see what we're into. Everything right now, everything on this brush, just is installed finger tight. There's no tools required, which is nice. The cup comes off, easy as anything. Um, we can unscrew here. Oh, let's not do that one just yet. Let's do this one. End cap comes off really well. Um, the next step up on the um, the ev from the evolution is to the infinity, and uh, the nice thing I like about the infinity though is it has this section here is kind of cut out so you can see the actual the action of the needle. Um, you know, not really something that's needed. It just looks cool, but uh, very beautiful airbrush itself too. Um, release the uh, the chuck for the needle. I always I don't know why so I was always taught to uh, press down, pull back on the trigger a little bit, and that allowed the needle to come out very, very, very easily. This is the needle. Um, I'm used to airbrushes with needles with a little bit of a ball point on the end of it, so it gives you something to pull on. Uh, this one doesn't. Um, so that's the only thing that I find a little difficult to get used to right now, is the needle is needs to be treated with delicacy because it's so small you do not want to damage this so I thought maybe just a little something to hold on to would be a bit better but you know it's a very expensive airbrush you take care of it so you know you need to you need to be delicate with it so that's something I need to learn all right we'll put that down next we'll take off the the nozzle now this is something that's very unique I guess to um, hard and steam back is you have your your guard for your tip and then the nozzle is inside of there. One little o-ring. Very, uh, very beautiful piece of machinery. This is just the, the, the machine it goes in. This is amazing. Um, this is your nozzle. Very small but uh, very nicely done. Just a piece of art. Alright guys. Now the whole spring and trigger mechanism. Unscrews out of the back here. Comes out, and you can pull your trigger out. Now this is kind of unique. I've never seen anything like this on the brushes I've been used to, but this is a uh, squared, and it fits down in the brush inside there and lands perfectly. And where this is cut out, it fits in thusly, and all your spring action is taking care of this portion of the airbrush itself. And this, you know, this one itself, guys, is just beautiful. Look at that. That uh, gold color there, just amazing. And there's our trigger assembly. And then we can remove the valve. Very, very smooth there. And there's the body. And there you go, guys. That's how fast it breaks down. All right. Now, Time for reassembly, and of course, guys, this is simple as anything, right? This is just reverse. But um, when it comes to cleaning, I guess we'll step back from it for cleaning. At this point here, guys, um, I found um, I just get a, an ultrasonic wash or a, a basin of um, of, uh, of your cleaning solution, um, acrylics. I'm using um, just Windex. I pop this thing in there for about five, ten minutes. Give it a swish, wash, wash through. Bang, bang. We were back in service, and we were spraying again. So really nice. So I'm just going to reassemble in reverse order. Trigger, or the uh, the valve, back in the bottom, just like so. Um, you take your nozzle or your um, your guard and your nozzle, 
back in. Just like so. And of course, everything, guys, is finger tight. It's all sitting on O rings, so you don't need to refund this. No special tools required, which makes things nice. And uh, this is the only part that I've so far found a little tricky is just getting this in and get everything lined back up. It just goes in like so. Try to get this in frame, guys. Oh, bugger. There we go. Alright, so that's the only hard part. It's just getting that lined up right. Once that dog's in and, and lines up, then you're, you break it and it's not where it's supposed to be. Ah, I popped around the place. Oop, there we go. There, now we got her. Okay. The needle. Now, like I said, guys, for some reason, I've always been trained. Push down on the trigger, pull it halfway back, slide that needle in just like so, and release. Make sure she's seated. Tighten down the chuck, and there we go. Beautiful, smooth German action there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Your back guard. Like, doesn't that look like something off of a high-end, very expensive pen writing utensil? Like, I'm thinking that's what Johnny Cochran has, you know, some high-end lawyers, judges. That's what kind of pens they carry. Finger tight. Install your cup. Bang, bang, there you go, guys, ready to go back to work. Um, beautiful, beautiful airbrush. Um, works great. Um, loving it so far. So, And what's really cool is um, Hard and Steam Mac, they call it 2 1. They also set this little baby. This is for doing your real fine pinstriping. Uh, can't find an air hose to hook up to this little baby, but um, pss, 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 it's pretty sweet. I think it's got like a. 0.001 millimeter cup in there, and it's got these little penny deals on the back. But anyway, guys, now this is very beautiful. It's just a, it's a little pin uh, to wear in pride and show you run the Harden and Steamback Evolution Airbrush Series. So, guys, there you go. Definitely check it out. All right, guys, stay tuned in. We're gonna run the paint.